want to ask about Matt Ryan because you you know you have the fourth pick. You know, a lot of people see that quarterback. You know, we'll just kind of. How much have you thought about that, and where do you see Matt Ryan working in next year with the Falcons? Well, we, we got a long way to the draft, uh, just like with anybody on our roster. I mean, you know, I'll be evaluated. Yeah, I got to earn my job every day. So we're excited about players that we have, and we, we want to obviously go through the whole thing. But to give you, I can't make a statement today because we we're, there's a long process ahead of us. But Matt Matt Ryan's it, it's been a terrific quarterback, and and I got all, all the respect in the world for Matt Ryan. And I look forward to working with them. Let me just say this. I love business suit season in the NFL when we see guys who otherwise never wear a coat and tie and a dress shirt in a coat and tie and a dress shirt. But why do they do it? The coaches don't wear suits anymore on the sidelines. They wear their officially licensed Nike gear. Why not have the coach dressed at the press conference, the introductory press conference, the way he would be dressed for a game? I would not have known that that was Arthur Smith. If you had shown me that photo earlier today, even against the Falcons backdrop, I'd have said, well, the COO is talking today about some new charitable endeavor or something. I would have never known it was him. I would have never guessed it in a thousand years that it was Arthur Smith. Well, these guys just need to wear what they're comfortable in, especially because it is an inherently stressful and uncomfortable situation anyway. They're never going to be wearing a suit when they do their job. I don't know why they wear a suit for the introductory press conference, and that's all I'm going to say about that. There's a question from Nayata Thomas at Twitter. Can Arthur Smith have success in Atlanta with the Falcons' current roster? Hashtag rise up. Sounds like a Falcons fan to me. I don't think you can have the kind of success that you'll want to have. I think it's time to tear it down and build it up. They're going to have cap issues this year with or without Matt Ryan on the roster, with or without Julio Jones on the roster. And the thing to keep in mind, and we'll get some clarity on this at some point before March 17, what will the salary cap be for 2021? It won't be lower than 175. There's been some talk that maybe it'll still be around 195 so teams can properly operate and, and manage their rosters and not have to cut a bunch of guys. I was told last night 180 is the number to keep an eye on. That's going to wreak havoc on some of these teams, and it's going to be a real problem for the Falcons. And if I was Arthur Smith, I don't know that this is the job I would have taken. There's a lot of factors we've talked about before, but stepping into this cap mess with a team that's just had this lingering frustration that traces back to Super Bowl 51, he's going to be a hot candidate next year with Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill. I, I, I would have waited if I were him, but he didn't, and we'll see what he can do. I just think it's going to be a challenge right out of the gates because he's not going to have the same quality of players that he had in Tennessee on both sides of the ball. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not trying to do anything other than wish him well. I'm just curious that a guy who seemed to have so many options and seemed to be in such demand would choose one of the jobs that I had real misgivings about going into this cycle. All right, that's it for today. But before we go, they've announced the full crew of officials for Super Bowl 55. And for the first time ever, a female is on the crew. Sarah Thomas, who's been an official now for five, six, seven years, it's kind of flown by. She's been doing it. She's been doing well, and she's done well enough to now get a Super Bowl assignment. It is based on merit. It's not random. It's not a rotation. You've got to earn that spot, and she's done well enough in the job to earn that spot, and that game is coming up. It's amazing. It's just two and a half away, a weeks away. We're going to have the Super Bowl, and by all appearances, they're going to pull it off. Although I'd rather not be talking about the Patrick Mahomes concussion this week, it's better than talking about COVID. The NFL has gotten it under control. Three games to go, and we'll be here every step of the way as the conference championships approach and then as the Super Bowl comes down the pike. That's it for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Everybody enjoy your evening. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.